Ipswich Town have completed one of the greatest stories in EFL history. This chapter in the long history of Ipswich Town will be remembered for years and years to come. From beating Barnsley in League One in 2023 to sealing themselves promotion to the greatest league in world football just 12 months later. This is a special, special achievement. So where do we begin when we're looking at the brilliance of this Ipswich Town side and the success they've had over the last two years? Well, I think it's only right if we we delve into the tactics and philosophy behind one of the most unique managers in English football, Kieran McKenna. I've noticed somewhat of a trend around bait in the press amongst some of the new young managers across Europe, with a lot of them implementing it effectively and having a lot of success. From Thiago Motta's Bologna side to Roberto De Zerbi's Brighton team and somewhere between both of them, Kieran McKenna's Ipswich Town. The Tractor Boys have one of the most entertaining and unique play styles in the whole of England. You see so many great counter-attacking football sides every single year. You also see so many great possession control based sides as well. However, Kieran McKenna has a fine balance between both different sets of play which allow him to be just as successful as either of the others two would. In the first phase, the Ipswich defence often attempt to bait the press in order to almost create themselves counter-attacking scenarios. They do this in order to get the wide men on the ball in dangerous, isolated scenarios quickly due to how fast they can transition from back to front. They isolate the opposition's defence from the press in front line and sometimes even the midfield as well, so, so very well. You're almost lulled into this false sense of security when you see Ipswich passing around the back, the keeper's got the ball, they're switching it between in the full backs, the centre backs, and in the next minute, you know, Leif Davis is inside your six-yard box, cutting a ball back to the edge of the area, and Connor Chaplin's made it 1-0. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a very risky way of playing football, and a very, very risky way of playing out from the back. However, McKenna has found a way to implement this style seamlessly with Ipswich, and he also didn't let the jump to the English second tier disrupt his football philosophy. Whether he will do that next season and find the same success as he did from going to League One to the Championship, is a discussion for a different day because obviously it's going to be a little bit harder. But before we continue talking about McKenna and his miracle work that he's done for Ipswich Town on and off the pitch, I want to look at a couple of players who I think have been sensational this season and will also be vital to the survival hopes of Ipswich Town going into the Premier League next season. I mean, first off, we literally can't not talk about Leif Davis. The young fullback has 20, yes, 20 goal contributions from left back this season. Now, that's not a joke. He actually has eight assists and two goals. Do, do you know how absurd that is? But in fairness, Leif Davis is basically a winger half the time. Once Ipswich break that sort of first phase of press of the opposition, he picks up so many excellent positions with whoever is deployed on the left wing coming inside the areas to strike the ball. Which, as we've come to know this season, Amari Hutchinson, who has been a mainstay on that left wing, can do so very well. Back onto Leif Davis though, and his numbers are absolutely astonishing. He's created 125 chances in league action, completing more successful crosses than any other championship fullback, whilst also maintaining some very respectable defensive numbers. He has a 75% tackle success rate, whilst also sitting in the top 19% of championship left-backs for most duels won in the league this season. Honestly, words can't describe just how good Leif Davis has been, not just this season, but over the last two seasons. Honestly, this lad is a special, special footballer. He has the passion and hunger to drive through the dark parts of the game, but also has the technical ability to deliver in key moments whilst also having the football IQ to pick up brilliant positions. His heat map shows just how dominant he's been all over that left side. Coming a little bit more centrally now, and I'm absolutely shocked at how well the Egyptian unit, Sam Morsey, has coped with the step up to the championship this season. I don't think it's too crazy to say he's been one of the best deep midfielders in the championship. Morsey's played 3,751 minutes of championship football out of a possible 3,960 as he started 42 games this season. And to be honest with you, he's been near perfect in nearly all of them. Without delving too much into the stats, which I am going to do anyway, even if you don't want me to, but I think just looking at his heat map tells you everything you need to know about Sam Morsey. This lad is a serious, serious workhorse. I really can't stress enough just how important Morsey's presence actually is to the Ipswich 
switch system. I've told you about the press baiting and creating their own transition scenarios, which requires heavy running and also central midfielders capable of receiving the ball under immense pressure. As we said before, they're inviting this press onto them and therefore the midfielders need to be able to turn under pressure, receive on the half turn and also get their team forward. At times this season, McKenna has made his side build out from the back in a 3-2 shape, with Morsi Agnes almost the anchor or the gateway, so to speak, with him being involved in almost everything around the town penalty box. This is shown by the fact he sits in the top 4% of championship defensive midfielders for touches taken this season, averaging 78.9 per 90. On top of that, he's also created a huge 52 chances from that deeper midfield area and has averaged 6.77 progressive carries this season, showing his ability and kind of coinciding with the idea that midfielders need to be breaking then pressing lines within McKenna's Ipswich team. However, he is not just integral to how they play on the ball, as I said before when I called him a unit, this lad is an absolute general. Sam Mosley has won more tackles than any other championship defensive midfielder this season, won over 200 duels and completed over 300 recoveries. Honestly lads, if you go onto Google and just type in football captain, I guarantee you Sam Mosley is what comes up. Now just trust me on this one, these two are not the only amazing players in this team or at least players that have performed absolutely out of the skin within this Ipswich Town team. I could talk about Connor Chaplin who's although he's had a few rough spells he's still been very good. I could talk about Burns, I could talk about Twan Zebe, I could talk about so many players in this team. But I want to get back on to talking about Kieran McKenna. McKenna took the majority of his start in 11 that was playing in League One last season and birthed them into an elite championship fall. A few sprinkles of loan spell magic and some tidy signings like Axel Twanzebe meant that he could create a serious force to be reckoned with. However, in reality, this team is not of the levels of those that chased them to second place this season. The individual quality of Leeds and Southampton is absolutely ridiculous for the English second tier. Yet, Kieran McKenna built a team that truly know what it means. Means. The foundation of this football club, specifically under Kieran McKenna, has been the fan base, with the future now being the Premier League. But where will they finish next season? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is one for a different day. Right now, if you're an Ipswich Town fan, absolutely enjoy it. Sink it in before the summer window starts, because it's going to be a hectic one if you just want to stay up. And I think that this summer is an absolute massive one in the future of Ipswich Town. It's going to be interesting to see how they go. If they go the Luton route of solidifying for the future, if they go with the Sheffield United route and just have an awful window, or if they go for Burnley and look to try and buy young players and sell them on. I'm not too sure what they'll do, but I'm sure there'll be a few changes to the model, a few changes to where Kieran McKenna plays. And I think Ipswich Town could shock a few people next season. I'm not going to say they're going to stay up because that would be an absolutely monumental task. However, I think they will, if they do go down, they'll go down with a serious, serious fight. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm absolutely buzzing about watching Kieran McKenna in the Premier League next season. I've loved watching Ipswich Town all season, as you can tell by the two or three videos I've made about Ipswich this season. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.